All right, you guys, here we go. Happy Friday. Um, as you can see, we have a little bit of a different background. I am back in person at Easter Seals, Colorado, and it feels so fantastic. Um, we have a couple of participants joining us here live in action today. So um, I'm gonna try and keep yelling pretty loud over this mask while we do the same uh, stretch, uh, excuse me, um, exercises to focus on strength and endurance. So I'll ask you guys to join along just like you have been. Make sure you are focusing on your safety. Make sure you guys stay stable. Um, anything that I offer is just a guidance, but if you need to modify or change anything um, to best fit your body and best fit you today, by all means, please do so. But it feels so good to be back here in Easter Seals. Um, we are in person at the facility today and we are gonna get these exercises going. So go ahead, get to your starting position, and we will begin. All right, let me get everything slid in here. And I think you guys should be able to see me fine. All right, cool. Are you guys ready? Ready. Ready? Excellent. <laughs> All right, guys, so I always like to start any bit of movement with those breaths again, right? So we're going to take some nice, deep, big inhales. And then as you exhale, kind of clear everything out. So inhale through the nose, open mouth, exhale, let it go. Good, inhale through the nose, open mouth, exhale, let it go. Last one, deep breath in, and a big breath out. Awesome, and we're going to go ahead with a little bit of music. We've got the playlist here listed in the video, and we're just gonna have some fun with it, right? So again, make sure you guys do what feels comfortable for you. I'm gonna go at a pace that is about in the middle, but if you need to slow down or speed up, feel free, okay? All right, we're starting off with a little bit of magic here. So we're gonna get our spine warmed up first. So if you can, sit up nice and tall, and then we're gonna drop the chin back, and lift it up. Drop the chin down and lift it up. Nice, dark, you guys. And I say about 10 reps, but I lose track between the music and doing instructions. <laughs> so just go ahead. Nice and slow. Awesome job, you guys. Start to loosen everything up here. 
Okay, this next one, we're going to focus on the front of our body first. So we're going to engage everything in the front muscles here. You can have your hands resting on your legs if that's comfortable. But I want you to round forward and pull all your muscles forward. So abdominals, pec, chest, neck and throat. Round everything forward. And then come back up to neutral. Round everything forward. Feel your belly squeeze, your pecs. And then back to neutral. Nice. So this is like a calf posture. In yoga, you can stretch out the calf, but we're really focusing on engaging the front. So feel those muscles pulling forward and then return. Nice job, you guys. I think we're about halfway through on those. Do about five more. And for anyone watching at home, if you don't want to do any of this and you just want to dance or move, feel free to do as you please. The important thing is that you move, you get your body flowing, get the blood going, bring that energy level up. Nice job, you guys. One more, just for good measure. Pull everything in and back. Oh, nice job, you guys. You're doing so good. Okay. Um, this next one, we are going to work on the back side of our body, right? So we might feel a little bit of stretch in the front, but the focus is to squeeze all the muscles in the back. So if you guys have hand press, like on your chairs, or I might just hold on to the back of my chair, or maybe your hands are just down by the side, the goal here is to squeeze everything behind you. So pull your shoulder blades together, pull your foot back in, pull the spinal muscles, Really engaging towards one another and then release. Good. Pull everything together. Squeeze all those muscles in and release. Nice job, you guys. Keep the breath moving. And again, for anyone at home that's continuing to do this, make sure you're monitoring both uh, the temperature of your body, make sure you're keeping an eye on your breath. If you feel yourself getting a little tired or like lightheaded, just relax, right? Give yourself a few minutes to reset, and then jump back into it as you're ready. Nice job, you guys. Feel all those muscles from your tailbone to the base of your head. Engage, and then relax. Really good. We got Bill in the back there. You guys can't see him, but he's joining, looking good as well. We got the whole crew here today. All right, I've lost count. One more. <laughs> and let go. Oh, nice. Good job, you guys. Let's take a breath to reset. So feel free to pull the breath in. And then open up, exhale, let it all go out. Especially as we're doing these kind of exercises that focus on strength and endurance, we might build a little bit more heat. So it's really important to let those big breaths out so that you don't get overheated or too busy. Okay? And I do not know what this is on this playlist. Let's go to the next song. There we go. Stevie Wonder, I know. Let's go with that <laughs> All right, guys. Moving on to... A little bit more shoulders, down the whole length of the arm, and into the hands. So this first one we do in the morning class, but we're going to add a little bit of movement to it. So I want you to bring your feet flat to the floor, hips heavy, sit up nice and long with your spine. We'll take the same hand grip options that we had, so you can either bring fingers in between one another. You can take cup grip. You can utilize one arm to assist the other. Or you can always do this with just one arm. But we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna do 10 reps of lifting up and then lower. Okay? So take the grip of your choice, take a nice deep breath in, up, and down. Good. Yep, and it doesn't matter what level you're at, maybe you're coming to shoulder level and back down. Maybe you're just working on getting your hands up off your lap and back down. Good. Wherever you're at, keep breathing. Smooth and steady. You don't want anything to pinch or cause any more pain. So just keep working right where you're at. Nice 
nice job, you guys. I gotta say, it's so much better to have a real live audience than just talking to myself all day. <laughs> Good to have a little bit of human contact here. Nice job, you guys. If you need to take a break at any point, feel free. If you want to change your hand grip, or maybe the height that you're moving. Good. Nice job, my man. Oh. Really good, Steve. You guys are doing great. All right. Last one. We're going to bring our hands as high as they go. So maybe there's overhead. Maybe you're at shoulder length. And then just go a little side to side. Right? Get a little bit more motion here in the core and the shoulder girdle. You got Bill back there doing the wave. He's got some kind of dance move happening. I like that. <laughs> oh, so good, you guys. All right. Take a nice deep breath in. And slowly lower. Let it go. You guys doing okay? Yeah. Feeling all right? Good. Bill, you good back there? All right. I also like to remind anyone, if you guys need some water or you need to hydrate, make sure you do that. Right? So I've been telling everyone at home that if you start to build up a little bit of heat or you get a little tired, just take a sip of water, okay? All right. This next one, we're essentially going to do bicep curls. So we're focusing on flexion and extension at the elbow. Now we'll take those same hand grips that we did before, right? So keep our fingers in between, cupped over one another, assisting one arm, or just doing one arm, right? And then for the audience at home, I'm going to turn to the side so that they can see here. And then you just want to have your arms down by your side and start to curl those hands up. Nice. And back down. Curl up. And back down. And this is something you can take a lot of different variations with. If you're feeling good and you want to put a little um, dumbbell in your hand, or I have cans of soup at home, that's about one pound. So if you're working with smaller weights, just keep it slow. Nice job, you guys. Keep the breath moving. Really focus on engaging that bicep as you pull up, and then engaging the tricep as Good. Nice work. What are we at? About 27? <laughs> 12? See, Bill's counting for me, you guys. I said I needed something to count. So let's make this the last one and then slowly lower. Oh, good. If you need to shake it out or even give it a little massage, feel free to do that, okay? All right, so these next ones, I get a little closer to the computer so that they can see me, but you guys can go ahead and just stay there. All right, for those of you at home, we are going to stick with the same hand grips, right? So fingers in between, cupped grip, one by itself, or completely by itself. And what we're doing is pronation and supination. So palm down. Palm up. So if your hands are together, it looks like this. Right? So try and bring your hands straight out in front. And then it's a rotation of the forearm. There you go. Nice job, Steve. Right. Yeah. So if you're assisting one arm, and then turn that palm down. Nice. We got a sing-along happening over here, you guys. For all of you at home, you're missing out, I'm telling you. Uh, all right. I will spare you, I won't sing. That is my gift to you. <laughs> Not singing. <laughs> nice, keep rotating if you're just doing the one hand, right? Flipping that palm over, getting some good rotation all through the forearm here. Feeling okay? Yeah. Good. Keep breathing, slow breaths. Nice job, you guys. All right, what are we at, 42? <laughs> Thank goodness for Bill, you guys, I tell you. All right, we're done with that. <laughs> Go ahead, shake it out a little bit. Maybe give that arm a little bit of a massage. Nice job. All right, this next one, we are getting into flexion and extension of the wrist. 
right? So you're either pulling forward or pulling back. Yep, and again, same options. You can do hands together, right? Cuffed over one another. Or, exactly, Steve, just using one hand to assist the other. Nice. Good. And go ahead and grab right at the wrist, Marvin. Try and get... There you go. Perfect. Nice job. And for those of you at home, whether it's one hand, maybe it's both, right? Maybe you're just assisting one. Nice job, you guys. And as you're assisting, really try and focus on thinking about moving the hand that you're assisting, right? So if you're trying to move that left hand, really put a lot of energy and intention into the left hand. Good. Awesome job, you guys. I'm not even going to ask. I know we're over 10, so let's go ahead and take a break there. <laughs> you guys doing all right? Yes. Okay, cool. Feel free to shake out the hands, loosen everything up a little bit. Um, the next one we are going to move into is fingers. Right, so it's called thumb and finger opposition. So taking our thumb to the pinky finger and then opening. Ring finger and then opening. Middle finger, yep, and then opening. Pointer finger and then opening. Good, so pinky finger and open. Try and do it nice and slow so that you push those thumb pads and finger pads together and then open. Squeeze the fingers together and open. Nice. Yep, and if you're trying to assist the other hand, maybe you just start to bring those fingers in towards one another and then open. Pulling those fingers in towards one another and open. Nice job, you guys. Good, and there's a couple different ways to do it, so take the variation that best suits you, wherever you're at. Pinky finger, relax. Middle finger, relax. Oh wait, that was ring finger. Now middle finger, <laughs> relax. Pointer finger, relax. And then back. Let's do about two more rounds, whichever your hand on, whichever side. Nice. Good. Really focus on pushing those finger pads together and release. Good. We'll do one more set. That'll, that should tire out your hands a little bit. Right? So if you're doing those fingers together. Nice. Really good. How's everyone doing at home? You guys okay? Hanging in there? All right. I think that was the last one. So I'm going to release my hands. <laughs> that definitely tires my fingers out. I know that much. All right. This next one and last one for the hands and the fingers. Fist. And then open. Fist. And then open. Good. If you're using one hand to assist the other, curling everything in. Trying to open everything up. Whichever you feel best. Opening up. Yep, there you go. And maybe if your hand's a little tighter, you're just taking the fingers together and opening them up. Good. So nice tight fists. And then open. Tight fists. And open. Good. Or just start singing, dancing, feel the music. <laughs> All right, Bill, what number are we on? So, <laughs> guys, I'm way over 10. It's ridiculous. I always say 10, and then I go up to like 20 or 30. All right, go ahead. Shake it out. Release those hands. Maybe even rub them together. Take one hand and rub over the other. There you go. Yep, wake it up a little bit. All right, hopefully you guys at home are doing okay. We are going to step back once more, and then we're going to move on to core and legs. All right, are you guys ready? Because I'm yelling and talking a lot, I'm going to take a little water break. If you guys need any water, just let go, okay? Who knew yelling could cause so much dry mouth and require so much energy? <laughs> All right, you guys, so now we're going to 
during a shower class. All right, you guys done with that one? Yeah. Part of the notes since we started, right? <laughs> Marches, right? Marches. So seated marches. Lifting the knee up one at a time. There you go. Perfect. Try and get that knee as high as you can go. And again, a couple options with the spine. If you lift your chest up off the back of your chair, you're going to feel your core more engaged. If you need a little support, you can lean back.
everything out and reset. Inhale through the nose. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Awesome work, you guys. You're doing so, so good. All right, blink those eyes back open. How are we doing? Okay? Yep. All right, this next one, I'm going to move the computer back here because I need to take my mask off to do our facial exercises. Okay? So you guys hold tight. And if you guys can do these still with your mask on, go ahead. For everyone at home, give us one second. All right. How you guys doing out there? Hanging in there? Doing okay? Good? Okay. So our participants are now a little further away from me because I am going to take the mask off so we can do our mouth exercises. Wow, there we go. So we like to start a little massage. Feel free to just get into the muscles here around your jaw, maybe even around the ears where the jaw connects, into the cheeks. Good. Just loosen that up. It's no different than a shoulder massage or maybe a bicep massage, right? Just loosening up those muscles. All right, so this first one that we're gonna do is opening our mouth as wide as we can and then closing it. Wide and closing it. Good, open and close. Nice job. What was that? Five? Five more? <laughs> Last one? Ah, there you go. Nice job. And again, you guys, if you need to kind of massage the cheeks out in between any of those, feel free. Right? You can start to feel those muscles tense up. No different than if your muscle got sore from a bicep curl or if those legs got tired after our bicycles, right? All right, so our next one, this is always my favorite, just smiling. Smiling as big as you can and then relaxing. Pull both corners of the mouth up to the cheeks, up to the eyes, and then relax. Good, you guys at home, keep those smiles coming. Really, really big and relax. You guys all look so happy. This is great. <laughs> How many are we at, Bill? Is this our last one? Ah, oh, and relax. I feel like who knew smiling could be so tiring, right? You start to really realize how many muscles you have in your face and your mouth when you specifically focus on doing those activities. All right, so we are going to keep smiling, but we're gonna mix in some puckers. So some big old kiss puckers, right? So, and then smile. There you go, pucker up, and smile. Pucker, and smile. Nice job, for you guys at home, feel free to make the kissy noises. Pucker up those lips. And back to smile. Good. And smile. So really focus on alternating between the two smoothly. And if your mouth starts to get dry or tired, you can have a sip of water or just rest it. No different than any of the other activities. Focusing on how you're feeling. 10. Okay, we did 15. Oh, it's so good to have Bill here. He's actually just keeping me on track today. So thank God for him. <laughs> All right, this next one I'm first going to explain, and I'll explain to the folks at home, and then I'll show you guys, right? So we'll keep our lips sealed while we puff up with air, right? Like a puffer, uh, puffer fish, a blowfish. But then we're going to try and move that air from side to side. Yep, exactly. So 
puff up. Mm -hmm. Good, but trying to keep those lips sealed as best as possible. Filling the mouth with air, puff, puff, puff up, keep lips sealed, and then move it side to side. Nice job, you guys. Want to do one more set of those? Mouth feeling okay? Go ahead. Puff up those cheeks. Mm -hmm. Nice job, you guys. Wow. That one always gets my cheeks going. <laughs> Feel free to massage them out a little bit. Loosen up the jaw. All right. This next one, I always lick my lips because we're going to do lip smacks, right? So pull those lips together and then wide open. Good. Seal the lips nice and tight. Whoever gets the loudest gets a gold star. <laughs> I have no prizes to give today. I'm just excited to be back. <laughs> Martin, that's so good. Nice job, you guys. All right, that's probably over 10 or right at 10. All right, I'm going to take a quick sip of water here because I'm talking and doing mouth exercises. All right, you guys, this next one, the next two actually, we're going to focus on the tongue here. So you might need to lift up your masks a little bit. But open the mouth wide, and then we're going to take our tongue from side to side. So, good. And really make sure you're controlling it, right? It's okay to go fast, but if you're going fast and the tongue is going in all different directions, slow it down, keep it nice and controlled. Good. Taking it from corner to corner. Right? The tongue is no different. It's an equally as important muscle. We need it for chewing, swallowing, talking. Okay. Awesome job. Next one, up and down. So take your tongue up to the nose and then down to the chin. Can you touch your nose? Oh, close. It looks like it. Can you, Marvin? I can't. I have this tiny little lame tongue. Can you touch your nose? Mine barely goes over my lip. <laughs> Good. Again, keep it slow and controlled though, right? If you can, go a little faster. <laughs> if you can, go a little faster. Nice, but make sure it stays slow and controlled. Good. We've got some, uh, some people who are showing off over here. We've got some tongue rolls happening, lots of control over there. <laughs> all right, you guys, all done with those tongue exercises. This next one is um, a little trickier. I always find it to be the hardest. Marvin, maybe you agree. So you're gonna gently bite the tongue while you swallow, okay? So for those of you at home, clamp your teeth gently on the tongue and then while you're holding that clamp, swallow. For me, it's like a full body movement. It takes a lot of energy, right? So bite the tongue gently and swallow. Good. This one's always a little hard for me. <laughs> yeah. Nice job, you guys. What are we at? A seven. Let's do three more because that's all I think I can handle. <laughs> awesome job. Oh, that one always gets it, I tell you. Who knew that could be so hard? All right. Last one, you guys. 
Last one and then I'm done. I'm done beating you up for a Friday, right? Okay. <laughs> All right, so for those of you at home, you guys are doing awesome. Keep going, we've got one last one. We are going to frown, so make a big sad face, and then swallow. Frown, and then swallow. And swallow. It's so sad now to see your sad faces. <laughs> Good. Two more? Oh, one more. Frown and swallow. <sighs> yeah. There we go, right? <laughs> All right. As always, you guys, I like to finish off with a couple of breaths, just like we started. I'm going to get my face mask back on. All right. But let's go ahead and finish off with three deep breaths. All right, you guys. Inhale through the nose. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Good, inhale through the nose. Exhale, let it all out. Last one, deep breath in. And open mouth, let it go. Awesome, that deserves a round of applause. <laughs> All right, for all of you at home who were joining, thank you so, so much again for showing up. Um, I should be back Monday morning for mindfulness at 10 o'clock. I think I'll be back at home again doing that live. Um, but thank you guys so much for joining today. We will see you again next week. Continue to be safe, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Have a good one.